This is Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com, and in this video, I'm going to be going over the Parkland Burn Formula. And this video is part of an NCLEX review series I'm doing over burns. And as always, don't forget to access the free quiz that will test you on this material. So let's get started. What is the Parkland Burn Formula? It's a calculation used to calculate the total volume of fluids that a patient's going to need about 24 hours after receiving some type of severe burn. Usually, we're talking about partial thickness which is the second degree burn or higher. And what it takes in account is the patient's percentage of body surface area that is burned. So you need to know how to calculate that and you will do that by using the rule of nines. And if you don't know how to do that, I have a video that can help you learn how to do that. It's really quick and easy because that's the whole backbone of working this calculation. Also, you need to know the patient's weight and you will take the amount of fluid, multiply all that together and you'll get the total volume. And the solution you usually use is lactated ringers which is an isotonic solution that will help expand that intravascular compartment. Because when patients, adult patients who have burns that cover about 15 to 25% or more of their body, they need fluid resuscitation. Because what's going on? Well, when you get a burn, you're gonna have a change to the capillary permeability. It's going to increase. So instead of fluid staying in the intravascular system, it's gonna move out into the interstitial system. And this is gonna deplete our intravascular system. And our heart isn't gonna have a lot of fluid to pump throughout the body. And our body needs it, especially those vital organs. So our patient can enter into hypovolemic shock. So, it's important we calculate with this formula so we can determine based on how bad they're burned, how much they weigh, how much fluid they're going to need over the next 24 hours. So you get your total and then during the first eight hours the patient will receive half that volume total. Then over the next 16 hours they'll receive the other half. So now let's work a sample practice problem. Our problem says a 46 year old male patient has partial thickness burns on the anterior head and neck, the front and back of the left arm, the front of the right arm, posterior trunk, the front and back of the right leg, and the back of the left leg. The patient weighs 180 pounds. Using the Parkland burn formula to calculate fluid replacement, calculate the hourly fluid rate, milliliters per hour, for this patient over the next 24 hours. So to solve, let's do the easiest thing first. Let's figure out our patient's weight in kilograms because they gave it to us in pounds. So to convert to kilograms, we're going to divide by 2.2 and 180 divided by 2.2 gives us 81.8 kilograms and we're going to round up to 82 kilograms. So our patient weighs 82 kilograms. Okay, now to the, for the tedious part, the hardest part of really solving this whole formula, is we gotta calculate the percentage of the body surface area that is burned. Okay, so we have the anterior head and neck. What does that equal? That equals 4.5%. So we'll write that in. Okay, we have the front and the back of the left arm, so we're looking at the front and the back, the left arm, each side's worth 4.5%, 4.5 plus 4.5 equals 9%. The front of the right arm equals 4.5%. The posterior trunk equals 18%. The front and the back of the right leg. So each side equals nine. So nine plus nine, because we're talking about the front and the back, is 18%. And then we have the back of the left leg, and that equals 9%. So when we add all that up, what do we get for our total surface body area that is burned? We get 63%. So now what we gotta do is multiply and we'll get our total volume that we need of LR. So four times 63 times 82 equals 20,664. That's our total volume that needs to go in of LR. Now our problem wants to know how we're gonna run this fluid over the next 24 hours. 
And what's the key with it? Half of this amount is going to go in over the next eight hours, over those first eight hours, half of this. Then over the next 16 hours, the other half is gonna run. So where are we gonna set our pump to? So let's figure it out. So what's half of 20,664? It's 10,332. So that's what needs to go in volume wise over the first eight hours. But we need to know what to run that at. So we're gonna take this number and we're gonna divide it by eight. And this will give us our hourly rate. So 10,332 divided by eight equals 1,291.5, but we're gonna round up to 1,292 milliliters per hour. So that needs to be their hourly rate during the first eight hours. Now we need to figure out whether hourly rate's gonna be over the next 16 hours. So again, we're gonna be giving the other half, so we'll be left with this. So 10,332, and it's gonna go over 16 hours, so we're gonna divide that by 16. And that's gonna give us 645 0.75 and we're going to round to the nearest whole number so we'll round to 646 milliliters per hour and that's what we'll set it on over those next 16 hours so again just to recap our answer for the total volume that's going to go in over those 24 hours is 20,664 milliliters but during the first eight hours we're going to infuse that at a rate at 1,292 milliliters per hour to give that first half. Then we're going to give the second half over 16 hours and we're going to run that at a rate of 646 milliliters per hour. Okay, so that wraps up this review on the Parkland Burn formula. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take the free quiz and to subscribe to our channel for more videos.